Kotaku wrote an article about the healer strike. Look. Kotaku actually... You guys did it. Hey. Hey. All y'all who are complaining about this on the forums... Congratulations. You got what you wanted. You have gotten a load of attention. And you have even got Kotaku to write an article about this on their website. It says, he made it to Kotaku. A dubious victory, but I'll take it, I guess. Frustrated Fall Fantasy XIV healers are planning to strike when Dawn Trail debuts. Mounting complaints from the community came to a head after a streamer beat the next expansion's first dungeon without a healer. I was there. I was there when it happened. I was sitting next to them and I could have prevented all this. They said, Zeppla, don't you want to join us for the dungeon? And I'm thinking, well, I'm pretty interested in astrology. Nah. I'll keep making this cute pictomancer bunny boy. Y'all go on ahead. Maybe I'll join you later. Y'all don't really need a healer, right? I could have prevented it. But I didn't. <laughs> and now look. All I had to do was spend 10 minutes in the dungeon. <laughs> but I said, no, you'll be fine. After months and even years of healer mains and Final Fantasy XIV complaining that Square Enix's MMORPG has simplified and devalued the job seemingly to no avail. Oh my god, this is vicious right out the gate. Aggrieved healers are going one step further to make their opinion known. They're going on strike. The strike originated on June 19th when Square Enix forum user Jemina, a scholar main, posted a thread succinctly titled hashtag FFXIV Healer Strike. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> Related video. I didn't play Final Fantasy 16 right, and that's okay. <laughs> this is not a good video to put in this article, you know that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that opens with a mission statement for the strike. Jemina writes, I would like to make this the official thread for those in support of a healer strike as a collective voice to the dev team to express the dissatisfaction with the continued direction the game has gone concerning healer gameplay and what is an arrived consensus that is deemed to be a negligence towards the role as well as the players who main it. The strike asks any player who participates to abstain from taking on any healer jobs in any group content. <laughs> Wow, this is not a new issue for FF14's healer community. Dawn Trail previews were the tipping point that led to the strike. Specifically, FF14 content creator Xenosis Vex's preview video showing a four-person party beating the new expansion's first dungeon, Ihokitamotu, without a healer, of course. Xenosis used some clever party makeup that's true. He did think very carefully about how to set up the party so that this would be possible. Yeah. Mm hmm So, the party's tank was a warrior, a class known for its self-healing abilities. The warrior was then supported by three DPS players, with one choosing Red Mage to, t to make use of healing and revival magic without the need for a true healer. Still, it's not a good look for Dawn Trail. 
and it has put a sour taste in many healers' mouths. Oh boy. <laughs> Continue reading. Okay. You may think that a healer strike might not get anywhere since it proved how useless the role is. <laughs> oh my god. They really just said it. They really just said that. And even but the Dawn Trail's basic content. You're useless even in the most basic content. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> However, when completing party-based content for the first time in FF14, you're required to adhere to a strict party makeup. What? Um... That is not correct <laughs> that is actually not true at all <laughs> did y'all know that the first time you do a dungeon you're required you were required to have a strict party makeup i didn't know that Yes. You don't need that. Four-person content requires one healer. Okay, that's not how this works. <laughs> so players can't take the Xenosis approach of foregoing healers. Yes, you can. Kotaku. Literally ask any person who actually plays the game if this is possible. Literally, just make your own group. It's obvious that uh, they did not do the research on this. And... Uh, yet... You can't do it in the duty finder. The duty finder forces this, but that's not what they're saying. What they said is, when you complete the party-based content for the first time, which is not the case at all, and they imply that there's absolutely no way for you to do this without a healer, do a dungeon without a healer when the Dawn Trail launches, which is straight up not true at all. So, not impressed. The grievance is listed by, like, it's wild to me that FF14, look, FF14 isn't a game that y'all are covering on occasion. This is a game that y'all are consistently releasing content about. So you could maybe have at least a one person who works at Kotaku, who has played the game enough to know basic things about how party composition works in a dungeon. Like, somebody that can fact check information for you <clears throat> if this is a game that you're planning on covering a lot. Uh, the grievances... You think it sounds like chat GPT for this? It a little bit did sound a little chat GPT to me. Uh, the grievances listed by Jimena sum up a building list of issues players have had with the healer role. Issues that have only been exacerbated by the imminent changes coming to the new expansion. The healer community, me included. Oh, so you do play the game. You do play. You play Astrologian. Well, why didn't you say that at the start? You play, you play Astrologian, and you're not happy with the job because why? Because of the RNG is gone. What the? F okay, we'll look at this in a second. And look at that next. <clears throat> Has long been complaining that each expansion's job changes up. Continuously diminished the usefulness of healers in anything but high-end content, in addition to simplifying the actual rotation of play. But here's the deal. If you play an astrologian, 
astrologian actually has had a little bit of the complexity brought back into it with Dontru. It's actually been, <laughs> yeah, maybe the RNG is gone, but we're seeing glimmers of old astrologian return. We're getting on a whole tangent here. For example, the average rotation of a white mage in an encounter is to spam the single target offensive spell glare while also keeping the damage every time spell Dia constantly applied to an enemy. Healing is done very rarely. I mean, yes, but I also feel like I almost feel like this is a meme that's been repeated to the point that people think that that is actually only two buttons. Like, the way that's written, it sounds like that is actually all you have to do. When in reality... <clears throat> yeah, yes and. <laughs> when in reality, this is going to depend a lot on how are the other people doing in your team. Are they doing their job? What kind of encounter are we talking about? Are we talking about a raid? Are we talking about a trial? Are we talking about a dungeon? Are people screwing up or not? That means you spend your time spamming two buttons, which is obviously boring compared to DPS and tank rolls with their more complex <laughs> and engaging rotations. <laughs> yes, tank is a really complex at rotation. Uh, to make it worse, Dondrail looks to simplify astrologen. What? No, it doesn't. Dude, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Have you looked at the astrologen changes? Have you seen them or? Okay. Perhaps the last semi-complex healer job in the game. Alongside, like, what expansion are we talking about? Is this, is this Shadowbringers or Dondrail? Alongside the continued bolstering of self-healing abilities in tank classes. Okay. As a healer, I understand the frustration that led to the strike. I hope Square Enix is currently working on changes to address these long vocalized issues. There's even some hope that Dontrell might offer an olive branch to the healer community. Why? Summoner is losing its ability... What? <laughs> God, bad news summoners. <laughs> uh, it's game over, summoners. I didn't even know about this, dude. <laughs> this is new info. <laughs> Yes, it's it's here in Kotaku article. It must be true. It must be true. Dude, I don't know if Kotaku writing an article about this is... It, it's worse <laughs> or, or good. At first I was like, oh, you guys got some publicity. Then I read the article, I'm like... Okay. Yeah, it's Jover for summoners. Meaning that Red Mage will be the only non-healer role with the ability to revive. That gives healers a bit of purpose back. Thanks for taking the L, summoners. <laughs> it's those damn summoners that took the healer's purpose away. Why didn't I see it? It was so obvious all this time. If only they would just get rid of the summoner class altogether, but at least they're getting rid of their ability to revive. <laughs> Summoners, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. They'll give it to Warrior. Yeah, maybe. Furthermore, the Swift Cast ability is getting a shorter cooldown. Something that could signal more challenging content for healers. However, that might still be reserved for high end content only. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which doesn't exactly. Wait, what do you mean? If it's signal... Okay. So Swiftcast's ability will only have a shorter cooldown in high-end content. Okay. Okay. The FFX of Healer Strike thread currently has over 300 pages of comments adding their support. 
To give players time to complete any Endwalker content they need before the next expansion, Jamina proposes that the strike does not officially start Dawn Trail's release on July 2nd. What? Do you mean until Dawn Trail's release? Or will the strike actually start Dawn Trail release? Holy This is rough. This is a difficult read. Um, imagine editing the article or reviewing it in, in any way. Sometimes <laughs> Kotaku makes IGN feel like Shakespeare. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's AI Gen because the AI. Well, maybe it is. At this point, it doesn't matter. I feel like AI would not have the grammatical errors, but maybe it would. I don't know. Yeah. The AI would probably have better glam. Maybe it would have been better if they ran it through the AI. <laughs> so, man, that's really bad news for summoners. But I guess that this uh, the strike, it's not going to matter that much because... Everybody is required to have a healer in the party the first time they do a dungeon. Yeah. You cannot invite a healer to the team if you're gonna do the new dungeon. <laughs> it won't let you do it. Yeah, the game stops you and says, hold up. I mean, it won't let you not invite a the healer. So, I don't even know if it's worth looking at this other thing, because this is like... They sh they were like, oh, I play healer, I play astrologian, so here's the link to my article about me playing astrologian. And I clicked on it, and it's just... I hate what they're doing to astrologian. And this was from May 16th. And this was before we have had any... This is not, like, outdated now, anyway. And... It was the changes to the astrologian job that caught my eye. And, folks... It isn't looking good. <clears throat> oh my god. That is it. Uh, I, I agree. I kind of, symp I sympathize with the strike. I, I do. <clears throat> but obviously this article is a, uh, <laughs> like a knee-jerk reaction from a tiny bit of info we got in May. And then has never been looked at after we've actually seen all of Astrologen's kit. So this right here is chat GPT. Like normal people do not write and folks, it isn't looking good. Chat GPT loves doing, loves saying folks and loves saying this kind of stuff. And chat GPT thinks this is hilarious. Let's unpack how astrology works. Let's not, I'm not gonna read this whole thing after what I've just seen. <laughs> but damn like for me this is frustrating because astrologian is one of the jobs I'm, I'm most excited for after uh, playing it and seeing all the changes at the media tour and talking to other players who actually are, are dedicated to astrology and play it <clears throat> or care about the job. And what sucks is that Kotaku will release an article like this, right? And people who are not that tied in to FF14 and the updates and the things coming from the media tour, they'll read it or they'll see a headline pop up like this and be like, oh, shit, I guess I won't play. I guess I won't check out the game. I guess they're still f***ing up my job because it's like a very poorly researched article. And um, that sucks. Like I, it's spreading stuff. Uh, 
that feel it's just written by chat GPT and there's there's no heart in it what's the purpose of this there's no reason for this article to exist besides getting people to click on it and look on the ads it's not even like this is something at the very least you know if you really hated what they're doing to the job and you wanted to make an article about it and be mad or whatever at least write it yourself and speak from the heart and let it that show but it's not that so it's it's just frustrating <clears throat> it's frustrating anyway uh, it's hard to read this so i don't know anyway <laughs> i don't know what i expected like I, I didn't have a high bar set but i was still disappointed <laughs> i'm still disappointed summoner losing the ability to res that sucks okay well i've had enough of that to last me a lifetime it's like Every once in a while, I'll click on a Kotaku article because it's about something incredibly specific like this, and I wanted, I'm just wondering what they said, and I always regret it. And it's going to take me about six months to click on another one, probably. <laughs> that, I, I, I did what they wanted. I clicked on it every time. <laughs> 